Good evening, dear students from all over Egypt. Welcome to today's session. With you today, Ms. Amani Shawki Said Badawi, Harbiya Governorate, Ms. Wafa Hassoub, Suha Governorate. Hello, Ms. Amani, nice to have you with me. Um, well, today we are going to uh, begin the grammar of Unit 3. Of course, we already explained to you the vocabulary, the language notes, synonyms, antonyms, and everything related to Unit 3. Uh, so, beyond the imagination, What's the grammar of it? Let's check it together. Well, think about these sentences with us. Do you know when to you with them? If you don't take a taxi, you won't arrive on time. What tense is it? When do we say that? If you don't take a taxi, you won't arrive on time. Is it in the past? Well, think. Oh, I haven't got enough money to pay. I haven't got enough money to pay. So is it in the future, in the present, in the past? When exactly? Don't worry, I'll lend you some. Don't worry, I'll lend you some. The witch said, you won't find another love and you will be alone for a long time. You won't find another love. Does she talk here about something in the past, in the present, in the future. What do you think, dear students? Well, this is the grammar of Unit 3. It's about how to express the future. So we have different ways to express the future. We have the future simple tense, future continuous, future perfect, and of course, future with going to. And these are related directly to the future. We also have other sentence, uh, other tenses that we can use to express the future, like the present continuous, we can use it in future. The present simple, we can use it in future. Um, verb to be plus infinitive to express the future and to be about plus the infinitive. So let's check them one by one and know how to use them and when. Be with me and Miss Amani is already with you in the chat box. Okay, so any question, any answer, write us please. We will start with the future sample, the future sample tense. Well, to you, the future sample uh, and how to write it, how to contain it, it's well or won't plus the infinitive. Well, do or won't do. Well, take or won't take. Okay. So we use the future sample for predictions with no evidence. Remember this, in prediction with no evidence. Uh, we use it for quick decisions, offers, requests, threats, and future facts. And of course, we can use it for promises as well. Look here, in 10 years time, the world won't be very different. So here I'm talking about a future fact. I'm talking about the future. In 10 years time, the world won't be very different because 10 years is a short time. So well, no, no much or no big change will be happen, okay? Will you finish the email by the end of the day? Will you fi finish? So I'm here, I'm, I'm asking you, I'm requesting from you, okay? Will you finish the email by the end of the day? So here is, it's a request. That's why we used well. We will see more and more robots in shops in the next few years. So here I'm predicting, prediction, okay? I'm predicting that we will see more robots. Do I uh, offered you any um, evidence, any proof of my sentence? No, that's why we used well, okay? Uh, it's hot, it's hot. I'll turn on the fan, I'll turn on the fan. So this is quick decision. Now, oh, the phone is ringing, I'll, I'll answer it, I'll answer it. So it's something quick. Look, it's fire, run, okay? I'll run from the house. This is what, this is a quick decision. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll help you to clean this mess. So here I'm offering my help. 
So it's an offer. That's why we use I will. OK, and of course, as I told you, we use it for threats and we use it for offers and promises as well. Now it's your turn, dear students. Do it with us. Answer these questions. Well, I'm sorry. I made you so angry. I space it again. So what is it, dear students? Here I am promising you. I, I space it again. So I won't do it again. I am not going to do it again. I'll do it again. I'm uh, not doing it again. What do you think? Yes, Mr. Amani, do we have any answers? Uh, number one. A, exactly, exactly. It's letter A, it's won't do. I will not do it again. We used here well, okay, plus uh, the infinitive to, um, to, to express promise, to express a promise. Okay, so number two, meat or fish? I am offering here. I'm offering for you. Oh, well, um, what do you choose? What will you choose? Meat or fish? I space have some fish, please. So I want, I will have some fish. I'm going to, I want or don't, I will. In 12 years time, in 12 years time, the world space no inventions. So here I'm talking about no inventions. What do you think? Is it uh, the world is having, going to have, will have, or had had? So in 12 years, okay, more inventions will be invented, of course. 12 years, um, we have qualified scientists, scientists whom are going to um, explain or are going to invent other inventions. So uh, in 12 years' time, the world, the world, what? Uh, which one will have and we have number four now it's tomorrow so tomorrow space a cold sunny day according to the forecast well tomorrow huh, will be is going to be is being have been so here i am telling you about the future but with no evidence no evidence at all so what do you think will be so it will be a nice session, inshallah, and this is a prediction. Uh, let's continue. Now we have a new tense. Think about these sentences. Hmm. Do you know when to you them? When to you them? Huh. This time next year, I'll be living in Spain. I'll be living in Spain. Will you be studying? Be studying this evening? I won't be going to the, the school next week. I am on sick. Uh, um, I am on sick leave. I'm on sick leave. A leave here means holiday. So I have a holiday because I'm sick. So I won't be going to the school next week. I'm on a sick leave. So what do you think this tense is about? Let's check it together. Yes, it's of course the future continues now. The future continues. How to form it? Let's see it together. Well, we use the future continuous and it's will or want plus B plus I in G. So I'll be doing, I'll be eating, I won't be eating, I'll be working, I won't be working, and so on. So it's will or want plus B plus I in G. So we use it to uh, or for events that will be happening at a certain time in the future. So in a certain time of the future, uh, as Yanni, um, a certain time, a specific point of time in the future, this this uh, action will be happening. It's not stopped, not so. Let me talk It will be continued. It will be happening in a certain or a specific time in the future. Look here. Today we are talking, uh, sorry, we are taking the bus. We are taking the bus, but the next week we will be taking the train. So next week, next week, what will be happening? Uh, we will be taking, we will keep taking the bus or the train uh, in this time. So next week we will, Take the train over and over and over a little. Okay, let's check this. 
he will be staying with his parents for several months. So for several months, this is the time. This is a specific or a certain time. For several months, he will be staying all the time in the future. He will be staying for this month uh, while his uh, father is in recovery. Will you be starting? Will you be starting work earlier with your new job? So this here is something that will be happening in um, in the future, inshallah. Now that you got the meaning, let's check the answers together. Do it with us. When she arrives, when she arrives, you space. Will you? Huh, you will sleep. Are going to sleep. You won't be sleeping. You are sleeping. What do you think, dear students? And here is a trick. So, are going to sleep is not correct, or sleeping is not correct. We have here, will sleep or won't be sleeping. Which one is the correct one? And why? Five seconds and we will answer. Or won't be sleeping. So, why didn't you choose will sleep? Because here we have a question tag. So question tag here is what? Huh? Is what? It's not negative. So uh, if it's um, uh, uh, if it's not negative, so the question here uh, or the, the rest of the sentence should be in negative form. Okay, it's it's an affirmative. So the the sentence will be uh, the opposite. The question affirmative. This is going to be negative. If the sentence is affirmative. The question is negative. So you won't be sleeping. Will you? You won't be sleeping. And then here, question tag. Okay, so number two. Don't forget your snow pants. It space by the time you get to school. So it what? It will snowing. It will be snowing. Is snowing or is going to snow by the time you get to school? What do you think, dear students? It will be snowing. Uh, it will be snowing by the time you get to school. Perfect. Now, no tense and no grammar. Think about these sentences. Look here. Well, will you have finished? So now it's have finished. Will you have finished the report by the deadline? When will uh, we have done everything? Will we have done everything? How long will you have been? And concentrate here. Will you have been in this company when you retire? So what tense is it? Huh. Guess and write in the chat, please. Now it's the future perfect. It's the future perfect and how to express it? Let's check it together. Well, we use the future perfect, how to form it. It's well or want plus the past participle. The past participle. Look here. Will, will have found. Will have uh, worked. Uh, will have done. Okay. So this is the future. It's well. Okay. Uh, plus have plus the past participle. So uh, will or won't plus plus have plus pause participle. This is the future perfect. The future perfect. When do we use it? We use it for actions that will or won't be completed. Completed, not continued. Concentrate. So the, the action will be completed or won't be completed before a specific time in the future. So before a, a certain time in the future, this action will or won't be completed. That's when we use the future perfect. Look here. Before the end of the century, they will have found life on other plants. Huh. Life on other plants. So this is something that may or may not, okay, or will or will not be completed um, before the end of the century. Look here. Will they have found a cure by 2040? Will they have found a cure? I won't have finished typing the report by the time you get here. So when you get here, 
I won't be um, uh, or I won't have finished it. May I, I start writing it? OK, so by a certain time, by a certain time or a specific time in the future, this action, OK, may be completed or may not be completed, but not continued. Concentrate. So by this time in the future. Inshallah, I hope you got it. Let's check the questions together. Look here. I let you in. I space with the keys by the time you come in. Concentrate. I let you in. OK, in the house. I space with the keys by the time you come in. So I'll have arrived. I'll be arrival. Will be arrived. Or will have arrived. What do you think? Will have arrived. Will have arrived. Perfect. Uh, why? Why? Because the sentence in Arabic كده أنا بقول لك أنا أنا هدخلك البيت. Okay. ليه بقى؟ لأن أنت أنت لما هتيجي أنا أنا هيكون معايا المفاتيح. أنا على ما أنت توصل أنا أكون فتحت خلاص. Okay. ففي الوقت اللي أنت هتوصل فيه أنا هكون فتحت. How did we know that? Because he said, I let you in. I let you in. Because when you arrive, I will have, I will have a opened the door by the keys. So this is something that completed, okay, or will be completed in the, in the future, in a certain time when you come. Look here, Melissa Mike will be exhausted. They slept for 24 hours. So they will not uh, slept for 24 hours, will not be, won't have or will be slept for 24 hours. What do you think? So in the future, they will be exhausted. Why? Because for 20, 24 hours, they, they what? Huh? Where they won't have um, uh, slept for 24 hours. Won't have the boss space by the time the orders come in, he won't see it. He won't see the orders. So the boss will leave by the time the orders come in, will have left by the time the orders come in, will be left or will be leaving. What's the time? He won't see it. So the boss will have left by the time the orders comes. Okay, uh, or uh, the orders come in. Um, why did we choose that? Because, because he won't see it. So by the time the orders comes, he will have left. He will have left the place. So he won't see it. Okay, let's continue. Oh, yes. So now we are confused. Okay, how to differentiate between the future continuous and the future perfect? How to, to differentiate between both of them? Look here. Well, the future perfect describes, so this is the future perfect now. It describes an action that will end in the future, that will end in a specific time in the future. Okay, but the future continuous describes an action will continue in the future. So this is the difference between both of them. Okay, by the time, okay, by that time, uh, something uh, will have end. Okay, will have ended or will have done. So this is the future perfect. But the continue, it means it's it's done. Okay, it happened, it ended. But the future continuous, it means something that will continue in the future. Look here. In three years time, I'll be studying medicine. So in three years time, what I'll be studying? I'll continue studying. I'm not finishing it, okay? In five years time, I'll have finished studying medicine. So by the end of these five years, I'll be finished. I'll be finished studying. I'm not going to study anymore. But in the first example, uh, in three years, by the end of the three years, I'll be I'll be still okay, still studying. I'll be continuing studying. Okay, dear students. Hope inshallah you got the difference between the future perfect and the future continuous. Well, another tense, another grammar. Look here. Think about these sentences. Do you know when to use them? Well, I'm going to 
talk to him. I am going to talk to him very soon. I'll talk to him. When are you going to go? Going to go on holiday. OK, when are you going to go on holiday? So what do you think this grammar is? Look here. It's the future with be going to. It's now be going to dear students. To use be going to, we use it to express the future for, for intentions. So I am intending to do something, OK? Or plan before speaking. So I'm planning for something to make prediction about the future. OK, based on an evidence. So you must have an evidence. OK, a clue, um, a, a specific thing that tells you this thing is going to happen. So this is the future with be going to look here. We are not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow. So this is the intention. OK, this is a plan or a decision for the um, for the, the tomorrow or for uh, the um, the few uh, hours okay uh, later it comes later we are not going to paint our bedroom it's 8:30 you are going to miss the train uh, so this is prediction with what with evidence prediction with uh, it's 8:30 and your school is what is 8 so look here it's you are going to miss your train the holidays start start next week. So the holiday is going to start next week. Uh, it's my first day uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, well, we can continue. Um, I am going to uh, decorate the, the apartment. I'm going to um, make a party and so on. So uh, going to or be going to, we use it for plans, decisions, intentions and Prediction with evidence. Prediction with evidence. Now it's your turn. Do it with us. Uh, I crashed the company car. My boss, uh, what do you think? Very happy? Will he be very happy? So will be, isn't going to be, won't be, or is going to be. What do you think, dear students? I crashed the company car. Here is the evidence. Huh. So my boss isn't going to be. OK, so number two here, watch out, watch out. I, huh, so now this is this is what <laughs> this is. Um, uh, you can see my features, my, my, my face. Uh, I'm what huh? I will. I am going to. I won't. I'm not going to sneeze. So I'm telling you, watch out. Take care, please. So I, I what? I am going to sneeze here. I am going to sneeze. Because I am I'm here giving you an evidence of my face. <laughs> Look here. Watch out. I'm going to sneeze. OK, moving to number three. I am space fix it today. I am too busy. So this is a decision for me. I am too busy. So I am going not to not going to going to not or well. I am not going to fix it today. I'm too busy. Now another tense to think about. Do you know when to use them? The film starts. Oh, so now we are not using going to. We are not using will. We are not using will have or will be uh, plus ing. Now a new thing. The film starts at quarter to nine. What time does the train to Oxford leave? We have art. We have art at 11 o'clock. Well, what things is it? What things? Think. Uh, now it's the present sample for the future use. How to use the present sample to express, uh, to express the future? Be with me. OK, we use the present sample to express the future for some things that is scheduled, OK? Just like a timetable in the future. We have a lesson next Monday. So it's every Monday we have this lesson. So it's like a timetable for me. The train uh, arrives at 6.30 in the morning. The holidays start next week, OK? Or the holidays start next week. Uh, it's my first day tomorrow. So it's my first day tomorrow, okay? Uh, so this is the present sample. 
we use it for timetable or something that is scheduled, scheduled in the future. Now it's your turn. Do it with us. The plane space in New York at quarter to nine is landing, lands, land, and has landed. But the plane, I'm sorry, huh? the plane, the plane what? Huh? Is landing, lands, land, or has landed. So the plane, the plane lands because um, in these countries, okay, there are time for every plane to um, to set off or land in. Okay, so time for uh, uh, time for for it to to go and to arrive. Not like here, yeah. <laughs> not in our country. Okay, so number two, I'm so bored. What time is this lesson finish? I hope you don't say that for English lesson now. <laughs> okay, so I'm so bored. What time do, does, is, was this lesson finish? What do you think? Does, so when we answer, we can say it ends. It ends in about, I think, in about 30 seconds, uh, in about 30 minutes. So um, what time does this lesson finish? Uh, it um, it finished or it ends um, um, at uh, nine o'clock or whatever time you are saying. Okay, moving to number three. I think tonight's film is at nine o'clock on channel four. So I think tonight's film start is starting stars or B and C. Or B and C. What do you think, dear students? Is it is starting and starts, or start or B and C, or starts only? What do you think? Think carefully, please. Exactly, not is starting, not is starting, because this is a scheduled time for channels. We know that um, uh, the channels of television, okay, they uh, have schedule or time for every film, for every program, and so on. So um, it starts in a time and ends in another time. So film is not it's starting, it's not correct. So uh, I think tonight's film starts at nine on channel four. And finally, with number four, what time space work on Monday? Do you, do you finish? Are you going to finish? Will you finish or will finish? So this is work, and we know that uh, work have certain time to uh, leave uh, it. Okay, you must leave in a certain time. So what time? Have Nayara said, uh, do you finish? Perfect, exactly. Mustafa also. Thank you, Nayara Mustafa. Uh, by the way, here in this question, he uh, is uh, questioning or asking about the real time that his work ends, okay? Not when he will finish his work, okay? His um, his um, uh, papers and so on. No, he's not saying, uh, uh, talking about the papers or about uh, something that's related to the person. I am talking about the, um, the specific time that all the workers should leave. You look uh, in school, uh, for example, there is a certain time for the whole school to leave. Every one of you, but maybe Miss Wafa is sick, so she um, she lives in, in, in a time that related to her. But everyone is still working at school. OK, so in this question, I'm talking about the time that all of the work, everyone in the work, OK, leaves. When do they leave? That's why he asks you, what time do you finish work on Monday? What time do you finish work? Not are you going to finish or will you finish or well finish? Continue again. And think about these sentences. Do you know when to use them? Another tense for you. My father is doing. Wow. So another tense now. Is doing the shopping after work this afternoon. We are staying. We are staying with friends when we get to Luxor. So what tense is it? Have you got it? Let's check it together. 
Yes, it's a present continuous for the future use. How to use the present continuous for the future? Let's check it together. Look here. So we use the future, um, the present continuous um, uh, for the future to indicate that something will or won't happen in the near future. So if we have something that we are not sure about it in the future, okay, that will or won't happen, we use uh, the present continuous. And also we use it for plans or arrangements. So whenever you are arranging something, something that uh, uh, you need to leave, you need to uh, to do something, and uh, things after thing after another thing, we use the present continuous for it. Like, like holidays, you know, if you are arranging for a holiday, a party in the future, use the present continuous. If you are arranging a birthday party, um, a celebration, or something like that, any arrangements in the future, use the present continuous. Look here, they aren't leaving until the end of the next year. So they aren't leaving. They are coming to see us tomorrow. So they will dress, they will book a ticket, uh, take a taxi, um, uh, have their luggage and so on. So these are all arrangements. So they are coming to see us tomorrow. We are having a party, uh, look here, we are having a party at Christmas. So we are decorating, we are preparing a cake, inviting friends. So all these are arrangements. That's why we use the present continuous. But be careful, please. Take care when in Tibet. The sample present is used when a future event is part of a program, a program or a timetable, not the present continuous. So if you are talking about, if you are talking about a timetable or something that's scheduled, a future event that's scheduled, okay, we use the sample present or the present sample, not the continuous tense. Look here. We are having a staff meeting next Monday. So we are having, okay, a staff meeting next Monday uh, for, for only one time. So this is next Monday, only next Monday. But if we have it every Monday, every month, so now it's scheduled. It's scheduled, okay? So we have a staff meeting, okay, every Monday. Like our sessions in English. Okay, we we have a session. Okay, every Sunday. So you you have to say what uh, we have or we listen to Miss Emani and Miss Wafa every Sunday. You can't use we are listening. No, not correct. Because we are meeting every Sunday. So this is something to schedule Sunday and Tuesday. So concentrate. If something that's happening for only one time, one time in the future, we can use the present continuous. But if it's scheduled, if it's repeated, we use the present sample, the present sample. Hope you got it, inshallah. Do it with us. Now it's your turn. Okay, number one, I did really well in the interview. So, space, a new job on Monday. So. I start, I'm sorting, I will start, I have stores, or I have stored it. What do you think? By the way, this is an evidence here. This is an evidence here. I did really well in the interview. So I start, I'm sorting, I will start, or I have sorted. What do you think? This is tricky, by the way. Do we have any answers in Sarani? I am starting. I am starting. Okay. I think oh, I am starting. <laughs> okay. Is it arranged, dear students? هل هنا في ترتيبات عندك؟ ها. She did really well in the interview. She did really well in the interview. So, is she um, arranging for the job? No, it's not arrangement. So we can't, we can't use I'm starting. 
is it a time timetable for her? Is it scheduled? Okay, a new job? No, because she is going to begin it. So it's not I start. Okay, I told you here, this is an evidence. Okay, I did really well in the interview. So I'll start a new job on Monday. I have started, by the way, is ending. So this is an end. Um, that something that ended in the in the future. So I have started it's not correct. I have started it's not correct. Okay, dear student. Uh, she says he uh, here. I did really well in the interview. I did really well in the interview. So and by the way, uh, it's not here. I will start. I am going to start. Sorry, I am going to start a new job. Why I'm going to? Because we know that I am going to, we use it for what? For prediction with evidence. Prediction with evidence. Okay. Uh, look here for number two. Uh, space this weekend. Do you go out this weekend? Are you going out this weekend? Will you go out this weekend or A and B? So now this is tricky. This is weekend, dear students. It's weekend now. Yes, Mayor and Mustafa said, are you going out? Well done, exactly, exactly. Why are you going to, um, why are you going out? Because it's an arrangement. It's weekend. We know that weekend we arrange for um, meetings, uh, foods, uh, going out, uh, meeting friends and so on. So I am arranging for several things. That's why we used here the present continuous. The present continuous. Okay, uh, moving to number three. I think tonight's film, so easy for you, at nine o'clock on channel four. So is it start, is starting, is starts or B and C? This is a repeat question, by the way. Yes, Nayera said uh, starts. Exactly, Nayera, because it's scheduled. It's scheduled. Okay, so now this is um, uh, think about these questions or these sentences. Once I have done the research, I'll write the report. Once I have done, look here. So we have two parts. Once I have done the research, I will write the report. After she's finished uh, her degree, she will get a job as a lawyer. So this tense here, we use the present perfect, the present perfect for future use. Concentrate, please. We use the present perfect for the future. How? Look here. And closes with after, once and when, when used, after, once and when. We can use the present sample to talk about the future. The present sample. When I finish my studies, I'll go and live abroad. Do you remember the first conditional of F? Okay, so this is this is here. Okay, when I finish my studies, I will go and live abroad. Sometimes, dear students, we uh, don't have the present sample. We can't have or we don't have the present sample. So we replace it with what uh, we replace it with the present perfect. Okay, so the two parts here, present sample and the future sample. Sometimes we don't have the present sample in a sentence. So if we didn't find or, or if we uh, don't find the present sample, search for the present perfect. Look here, the airport will open again when they have moved the plane. Have moved the plane. Um, okay, a time close start with a time expression such as by the time. So if we have in the future a sentence with by the time, when, after, before, as soon as, well, until, we use what we use, the present sample or present perfect. Present sample or present perfect with these words. Look here, these are examples. Once you have finished your homework, will you come? Will you come? Uh, normal people won't travel in space until it has become less, less expensive. P 
people won't buy electric cars until they have discovered a way for them to go longer distance without being charged. And common mistakes, and please remember them very carefully. When I will get there, I will. Wrong. Don't use will and will. Wrong. We use the present simple or present perfect. Look here. When I have got there. When I have got there, I let you know. I'll keep researching until I will. Wrong. Will and, and, and will. Wrong. I'll keep researching until I have discovered a cure. OK, hope you got it, inshallah. And we are, we ran out of time, dear students. So uh, I already sent you the form. So answer the question and any question, inshallah, you have, we will answer it. So see you, inshallah, next week. Uh, uh, sorry, next uh, Tuesday, bismillah. Uh, thank you, Ms. Amani, for being with us. And thank you, dear students. See you. Thank you, Mr. Fah. Thank you, my dear students.